Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a great day. So in today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about a workstation that I picked up from eBay that was uh, really uh, cheap. So what I wanted to explain is uh, exactly why did I do this. Um, and the primary reason is that I wanted to build a new um, mining rig, a twin card mining rig. Um, it's not the most efficient way to actually do it, it's better to go with uh, more cards, either you know, four, five or six cards is a more efficient um, setup. Um, but I didn't really uh, want to put so much funds into it um, initially. So what I wanted to build was a twin card uh, GPU rig for Ethereum mining. Um, and when I was looking around at doing that, I was uh, considering uh, buying a new motherboard, um, CPU, um, obviously RAM would need to go with it, and then a power supply, and then the actual graphics cards itself. Um, so when I was looking at doing that, it was coming to um, you know over a hundred pounds to um, or more um, just on those sort of uh, basic components, so the multiple CPU, RAM, and um, power supply. So there's a lot of cost going into that just for a twin card rig. Um, I already had uh, one motherboard um, here and also a case and a few other bits and pieces to kind of create that. Um, but what I also wanted to do is create a second one as well. So. What I did is uh, I had a look around on eBay and I found a workstation. Uh, what I was really looking for in the actual workstation units was um, something that had a dual core processor and um, something that had a little bit of RAM, ideally between three and above uh, gigs of RAM. And um, uh, one of the other primary reasons or essential is it had to have um, at least one, uh, sorry, one full size PCI Express slot and uh, at least you know and a couple of uh, ancillary PCI Express uh, one time slots as well um, so in the one that I actually picked up it actually has uh, one of each of those so it has one full size PCI Express slot and it also has an additional uh, one times PCI Express slot so two slots that I've got that I can use for my graphics card so that was um, ideal so what I'll do now is uh, I'll show you the actual machine that I picked up it was um, £25 including shipping so that was um, a really good uh, bargain and um, yeah, we'll just have a look at the machine, I'll show you what i got and uh, explain the details as we go. I've not tested it or anything uh, as of yet, so uh, hopefully it all works and uh, it'll be good. Okay, so this is the actual machine that I picked up. It's a ZoomStorm workstation. It's got a Windows uh, 7 badge on there. Um, I know that it has a dual core processor. I don't actually know exactly which processor it is. I'm guessing it might be a AMD um, like Sempron or something like that. Um, just because it had a uh, an Acasa uh, heat sink and cooling fan, um, and it looked like quite a small one, so I'm guessing it. Yeah, I, I'm thinking AMD, but I don't know it as of yet. Um, so it's just a basic sort of workstation, um, and what I'll do is um, I'll plug it in, we'll test it first, uh, make sure it's up and running. We'll find out what processor it's got in there, and then what we'll also do is um, I'll just open it up and I'll show you the internals, and then I'll show you what we're working with on the insides of it. Okay, so let's just get everything uh, plugged in. Uh, first point was that a uh, little bit of a difficulty was I didn't actually have a VGA cable so it took a little while to dig one of these um, out uh, managed to track one down eventually so yeah just got a VGA connector not a DVI connector which is what everything connects to nowadays or HDMI of course Sort of stuff you have to deal with. See that? <laughs> it won't go in. Okay, let's try that again now that we have a proper three pin socket. We have some power. Okay, so let's just have a look at the actual uh, display. I think I might have to change the actual modes on it. Okay, it's already straight into uh, Windows 10 that was included with it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do uh, Windows pause and break and um, we'll have a look and see what the processor is. Okay, so it's a, a Pentium dual core E5400 running at 2.7 gigahertz so it's got uh, 3 gigs of RAM um, the actual Windows um, 10 installation is actually a 32-bit installation I was hoping for um, 64 so I'll have to reinstall that I need a 
a 64-bit version of Windows to run um, the ETH miner and stuff. They're all 64-bit applications. So we'll need to change that up and just do like a fresh install, but it's worth um, looking at. So that's what we're working with. Um, let's have a look on the actual sort of insides and I'll just show you what I was kind of thinking and what we're going to be uh, working with on the insides of the actual machine. Okay, so I've just unscrewed the side panel. Let's um, take a look inside. Okay, so we've got a duct for the actual uh, CPU fan, which will work. Uh, Okay, so on the inside of the machine there was actually a picture provided uh, to show you the internals and what I was actually looking for primarily was um, to see that it had um, two PCI Express um, slots. So you can see here uh, quite clearly uh, we've got a full-size PCI Express slot uh, in yellow and then we've got a one-time uh, PCI Express slot. So that's going to give us the ability to run um, two graphics cards from this machine. So um, the actual power supply is just a really um, you know, cheap sort of standard power supply. I can't even, um, yeah, it's a, a 305 watt uh, power supply. So really this covers um, the very basics of the operation. So you, it only has a extra um, Molex connector on there um, and that's that's about it. So that's need to be replaced as well. So what um, I will do is I'll pick up a new power supply and two graphics cards and we'll just use this really as a base um, kind of um, chassis. Um, for a uh, Ethereum mining rig. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to do is the actual inside of the machine uh, casing is is fairly clean, um, but just around the actual CPU uh, heat sink and fan, there is a bit of a uh, dust kind of build up there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the compressor out and we'll give it a bit of a dust out. Uh, also guys, uh, just a little tip, if you are cleaning your um, system out with a uh, compressor or a can of compressed air, if you're going on your fans, um, just hold the fan in place and then dust around it. Don't, don't spin your fan up because uh, what happens is um, you'll actually damage the bearings if you spin them at really high RPM. So if you're cleaning, yeah, just hold the fan in place and then dust around it. Don't spin your fans up with the air. Okay, so one other thing I uh, wanted to do with this machine as well was actually to see with the uh, power consumption of the machine. So I'm going to fire it up again. So that's uh, gone into Windows. Um, so it's essentially um, just a little more than idling. Okay, so we've got our watt meter here on the wall. It's currently set to voltage, so it says uh, 236 volts. We need to look at it in watts. And it is 47, 49. 44, 46. Okay, that's great. That's actually um, kind of what I expected. I, I didn't want it to use any more than about 50 watts um, idling, which is pretty much what it's going to be doing um, all the time. And um, the power supply that I'm fitting in there as well should be a little bit more efficient, so hopefully that might go down even a little bit more. Um, but what I definitely didn't want was if it had, let's say, for example, a Core 2 Duo or something like that. Um, then the, the actual sort of a idle would have been using like 100 watts or something and that would have made the whole machine completely uh, inefficient and not as viable. Um, so yeah, lose, uh, using less than 50 watts is, is really good. Okay, so that's it for the actual machine that we're going to be uh, working with. Um, what I'll actually be doing is ordering um, the graphics cards today and also the power supply. Uh, the graphics cards that I'm going to be using for this machine is two um, R7 370 four gigabyte ones and they're made by um, MSI um, they're really good uh, cards for uh, power usage and they they hash nicely as well I'm looking at about 15 uh, mega hashes per second for each one of those um, so um, yeah if you do your maths uh, that will bring us to uh, 30 mega hashes for this particular rig and the power supply that I'm going to go for is not a um, super efficient power supply it's going to be kind of one that is uh, good overall in terms of uh, budget and efficiency so I'm probably going to go with a EVGA uh, 500 or 600 watt depending on which is the better value at the time um, I'm expecting that to be around about 40 to 45 pounds um, so quite a um, fairly good budget um, good priced uh, power supply unit and the graphics cards are coming in at a 140 pounds each um, so yeah 
the better to let you know what the costs are on those. So yeah, two graphics cards and a power supply. Um, they will be arriving hopefully in just a few days. And then what I'll do is I'll continue on with uh, a second part of this video, which will be more of the uh, putting together, um, whereas this one has been more of the sort of the, the pre-preparation of it. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, as always. Uh, and I'll be uploading the video, uh, the follow-up video to this, um, hopefully uh, sometime next week for you. Till then, bye bye.